Hey guys, welcome to my newest video for today, November 8th. I am trying to kill time before I go see the movie, even though like right now it is like six something in the morning. Like, yeah, core, like 6.30? Is that what it said? Or 6.20. And there's a movie I'm going to go see today. I don't go to see it for another couple hours. So I tried to, so for killing time, even though I did this back in January, I've gotten a lot more since then. So I thought I'd do a redo of my entire um, Blu-ray collection. And then hopefully down the road show off my DVD collection and, and stuff. So with, why there's a blank space is because I put all the box sets here for now so I can... Uh, show you guys. So we'll just get started. First one, of course, The Goonies. One of my favorite f kids films of all time. And of course, the uh, Lord of the Rings trilogy extended. And I have the Dragon Tattoo uh, trilogy with the really cool lenticular cover. Then the Jurassic Park Ultimate Trilogy. The uh, Star Trek Original Motion Picture Collection, and no, I did not pay $69.99. I paid 17 bucks for this. And then the Next Generation uh, one didn't pay $59, paid about $25. Then, of course, got my Superman Motion Picture Anthology. Really awesome set. And now we go into the TV shows, and even though this is not a box set, I keep the TV shows together. Of course. Firefly, first season of Game of Thrones, season one of Heroes, have to rewatch that series pretty quick, season two, and season three, put all those back, and I did the smart thing, got a stool. Because as some of you know, there's more in the back, so... Good. Season 3 of 4 of Heroes. S season 7 of House. Oh, I'm recording, so I can't change the... The light, so... The Digibook of Spartacus Blood and Sand. Planet Earth Complete Series. Star Trek The Original Series Season 1 and Season 2. Haven't gone around to Season 3 because it's still too expensive. Then we have Supernatural Complete Third Season and Terminator Sarah Connor Chronicles Season 1. And in the back we have True Blood Season 1, Season 2, where is it? Season 3. And season four. Now we go on to the movies. 2012. 28 days later. And put all these back. A little easier now with the stool. <laughs> and then of course got 28 weeks later. 310 to Yuma. 30 days of night. 8 Mile, 9, really good animation film, the uh, yeah, unrated extended cut of the A-Team, Absolute Power, Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland, which I actually liked, Alien, Aliens, Alien 3, Alien Resurrection, American Wolf in London, Apollo 13, and then back here we've got, obviously, but show the cover art anyway, The uh, Aviator, my favorite uh, Martin Scorsese film, of course, the, uh, the Avatar, The Avengers, which I showed my mom, and funny, she loved Iron Man 1, didn't care for Iron Man 2, Captain America, or Thor, but she loved the movie. Bambi, the remake of The Bank Job, 
Batman Begins, Future Shop Steelbook of the Dark Knight, Beauty and the Beast, Beetlejuice, one of my favorite John Carpenter films of all time, Big Trouble in Little China, Blair Witch Project, Ugh. Blood Diamond, really good movie, if you haven't seen it I still recommend it. And last one on this is Bolt. And then put this bunch back. And now comes a big part of my Blu-ray collection. I said I wasn't going to get these on Blu-ray because I had just finished them, finished getting them on DVD. But I'm a sucker. And they, of course, are my James Bond movies. Doctor No. From Russia with Love. Goldfinger. Thunderball, You Only Live Twice, On Her Majesty's Secret Service, Live and Let Die, The Man with the Golden Gun, The Spy Who Loved Me, my favorite in the Roger Moore series, Moonraker, For Your Eyes Only, Never Say Never Again. View to a Kill, the one that started it all for me 27 years ago. The Living Daylights. Back here we have License to Kill. Goldeneye, which was the first one I got to see in the theater 17 years ago, and is my second favorite. Tomorrow Never Dies. The World is Not Enough. Die Another Day, and the one that stands is my favorite James Bond film of all time, Casino Royale, Quantum of Solace, Boys Don't Cry, Bram Stoker's Dracula, my favorite vampire film of all time, Braveheart, Bridge to Terabithia, Disney Pixar's Bugs Life, Captain America the First Avenger and Disney Pixar's Cars which I enjoy so put this bunch back and if you're wondering where two of them are I have two of them on order from eBay because Diamonds Are Forever and Octopussy are not available up here same as with Goldeneye it wasn't available up here I paid thirty dollars for that but since it's a big personal favorite I didn't I didn't mind too much then we have Christmas Carol, The Chernobyl Diaries, which I really liked. I'm with uh, Doug Lander and Ryan 1988. This Ryan 1988. There we go. Bleah. This was really good. Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Prince Caspian, and The Voyage of the Dawn Trader. Chaplin, The Original Children of the Corn. The four film series with three, four, five, and six. Genesis and the remake. I don't know which comes first. Does, maybe you guys can tell me. Does the remake come first or Genesis? I can't. I don't remember. The Steelbook for Clash of the Titans. And Kubrick's Clockwork Orange, my eighth favorite film of all time. Oh, I hate it when they get so tight in there. Then we have 30th Anniversary of Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Ah, come on. The Crow. The Crow City of Angels. The extended two-disc set of The Da Vinci Code. Angels and Demons. Darkman. My, uh... The first film that introduced me to Sam Raimi and Liam Neeson, and to some extent Bruce Campbell. The Dark Crystal, one of my all-time favorite kids' films. Dark City, Director's Cut. The Day After Tomorrow. One that was in my last update. The unrated Director's Cut of Dawn of the Dead. The Descent. Devil, and um, 
the Die Hard collection. I still have my steelbook of uh, Live Free or Die Hard because that's not the rated cut. That's on the Blu-ray. Or the uh, unrated cut, I mean, I'm sorry. Okay, and then moving down, we have the Steelbook of District 9, Disturbia, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, Dog Soldiers, 10th Anniversary Edition of Donnie Darko, Doomsday, Eagle-Eyed, very good thriller if you haven't seen it, The Steelbook of Eastern Promises, Enter the Dragon, Entrapment, Equilibrium, as I've said before, a really great Christian Bale movie. If you haven't seen this, I so recommend it. Uh, Aragon, or I don't know, I've never been able to pronounce that right, because I always want to say Viggo Morganson's character from Lord of the Rings, but I actually liked it, so. And of course, the Future Shop Steelbook of my favorite film of all time, E.T. Oh, ho, ho. And then in the back, we've got... Event Horizon. Won't go into that because I always blab about that. The Evil Dead. Evil Dead 2. The Digi Book of the Exorcist. The Expendables. Face Off. The Faculty. Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer. I actually like these movies a lot. Fast and the Furious. Too Fast, Too Furious. The Fast and the Furious, Tokyo Drift. Definitely the weakest one out of them. Fast and Furious. And then we'll just put this bunch back. Okay. And then on the bottom, we have... Fast Five, which I thought was really damn good. Fifth Element, another one I won't talk about because I always blab about. <laughs> Final Destination. Final Destination 2. Final Destination 3. The Final Destination. Cronenberg's The Fly. Yeah. The Forbidden Kingdom. Forbidden Planet, one of my favorite 50s sci-fi films. Forrest Gump, Friday 13th Uncut, Freddy vs. Jason, uh, the remake reboot, which I thought was really good, as for someone who's a huge fan of this series, I thought it was really good. The original Fright Night, one of the lucky buggers who got this, so, yay. The remake, which I think we all know why I like. <laughs> Sorry, dog. I like it. <laughs> Full Metal Jacket, the, one of the only other Kubrick movies I really like. The Steelbook to uh, Gangs of New York, really cool back. Double feature with Gamera, the uh, Gamera Guardian of the Universe, and Gamera 2 Attack of the Legion. And then the extended edition of the Dragon Tattoo Trilogy. And then, of course, David Fincher's brilliant American remake. I really hope he directs Girl Who Played With Fire. One of the few Criterion Collection DVDs, I, Blu-rays I have, Godzilla. For obvious reasons, I picked why I picked that one. Destroy All Monsters. The Green Berets, as everybody here knows, or may know, I'm a huge John Wayne fan, and this is one of the only, uh, Vietnam, this one and Full Metal Jacket are two of the only Vietnam movies I like. Gremlins, not a fan of the video game, but I thought this was really good. Halo Legends, Steelbook. And John Carpenter's Halloween. Kind of funny since I hate Halo, and I love that movie, and I love the books. I thought the books are very well done. So, okay, now up we go. This is where it really gets hard to pull these out, ah! as the CDs want to come too. 
course, Halloween 2 from Universal Studios. Ah, come on, you bugger. The Shout Factory of Halloween 2. I'm determined to show you guys the covers on this. <laughs> and Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, which I watched for the first time in about 17 years, and I actually liked it better the second time. So... Halloween 4 and 5, the uh, Canadian triple pay play pack with the 6, 7, and 8, Rob Zombie's remake and the sequel, Hamlet, I think we all know why I got this, this is the one that actually has David Tennant and Patrick Stewart, so, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban. Oh, come on. And Goblet of Fire. Order of the Phoenix. And then Half Blood Prince with the Lenticular cover. Then Deathly Hallows Part 1. And Part 2 also with the Lenticular cover. Color blue. <laughs> the Haunted in Connecticut. Clive Barker's Hellraiser, Hellbound Hellraiser 2, the four pack with Bloodline, Inferno, Hellseeker, and Hellworld. I think out of the three, I think Hellworld is the better one. Revelations, Hellboy, Hellboy 2 The Golden Army, also with the lenticular cover. Laugh All You Want, High School Musical 3, and then the Hills Have Eyes Unrated Collection, History of Violence. The Hitcher remake. Uh, the only thing that really makes this good is Sean Bean's performance. Steven Spielberg's Hook, another childhood favorite. The Host, if you love the uh, Korean horror, uh, not Korean, uh, foreign horror films. This is almost on not to me not on par with Jaws, but more on par with Godzilla. House of a Thousand Corpses, The Devil's Rejects. The Future Shop Steelbook of The Hunger Games, with the Mockingjay on the cover. And Future Shop Steelbook of I Am Legend. Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs. <laughs> Immortals. Future Shop Steelbook of Inception. The Incredibles. The Incredible Hulk, one of the best things in my collection at the moment. Indiana Jones, The Complete Adventures. Interview of the Vampire. Into the Wild, the Region 2 Blu-ray of The Island, probably cheaper than what it is here. Future Shop Steelbook of Iron Man, Jaws, my ninth favorite film of all time, Jeepers Creepers, Jennifer's Body Unrated, and then we will, ah, my butt keeps hitting that. <laughs> and then we'll go down here. Double feature with uh, Jet Li's Fearless and Unleashed. Unleashed being my favorite. Journey to the Center of the Earth. The Killer, one of my all-time favorite foreign films. L.A. Confidential. Disney's Lady and the Tramp. Maybe if I... No, that won't work. Damn it. Laura Croft Tomb Raider, The Last Starfighter, childhood favorite, same as with this one, Legend, The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, The Lion King, Logan's Run, Madagascar 2, Escape, or Madagascar Escape to Africa. I always want to say Madagascar 2. And then we have A Man Apart. Then The Matrix. I have it in a weird spot because it's too big to fit there. And of course this is a digi book. Then Miracle. Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible 2, my favorite out of the bunch. Mission Impossible 3. And Ghost Protocol, which is my second favorite. Now I'll put the Matrix back there. 
Then uh, Monsters vs. Aliens. Monsters Inc. The Mummy. The Mummy Returns. The Mummy Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. My Bloody Valentine Original. And it's 2009 Remake. Okay, I gotta go. Move my leg! Because I'm getting cramped. <laughs> oh, is this going to be a bitch one? Ah, take these two out. Then we have National Treasure. Never Ending Story, another childhood favorite. Russian fantasy film, Night Watch. Oh, come on, you bitch. Okay, putting this down for a minute, guys, because this is one that's going to be a problem. Here we go. Day Watch, that the sequel to Night Watch. Nightmare Before Christmas. The Region 2 Blu-ray set of the Nightmare on Elm Street collection. Still have the Region 1 Blu-ray. And the 2-pack with the 2 and 3. And then I have the uh, 2010 remake with lenticular cover. Then I have The Notebook, and then Disney Nature Oceans, The Omega Man, and The Original Omen. I refuse to watch the 2006 remake. And then we have Paranormal Activity, Paranormal Activity 2, and Paranormal Activity 3, and I have Stephen King's Pet Cemetery, also with a lenticular cover. Future Shop Steelbook of Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl. Point Break. The Digi Book of Poltergeist. The original Poseidon Adventure. Predator. Predator 2. Predators, which I thought was really good, and the remake to Prom Night. Now back up. Whoa. And then of course I have Prometheus, Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho, Quarantine, First Blood, Rambo First Blood Part 2, Rambo 3, and the 2008 uh, reboot or whatever, which I really liked. Remember the Titans? The Replacement Killers? Two disc collection of the Rescuers and the Rescuers Down Under? The Steelbooks for Resident Evil? Resident Evil Apocalypse? Resident Evil Extinction? And Resident Evil Afterlife? Robin Hood, Rob Roy, that if nobody here has seen or owned, I suggest you get on that right away. <laughs> oh. The Rock, the digi book of the Rocky Horror Picture Show, William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, oh for Christ's sake. The Rookie, Salt, Santa Claus the Movie, the first Saw film, have no interest in getting the others, Say Anything, 20th Anniversary Edition, and the five disc, or the five disc, I think, yeah, five film set of Scream. And then I have Scream 4, 
the searchers, secretariat, serenity, Sherlock Holmes, the region 2 uh, triple play of Sherlock Holmes Game of Shadows. Got the region 2 because this came out a month before it did here. Shoot 'em up. Short circuit. Shutter Island. Speed Racer. Starship Troopers. The Steelbook of Star Trek. The Strangers. Street Kings. Danny Boyle's Sunshine. Superman the Movie. Superman Returns. Taken. The triple feature, feature the pfft, triple feature pack of the Ninja Turtles films. The Terminator. Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines. The Steelbook of Terminator Salvation, the Director's Cut. And double feature pack with 13 Ghosts and House of Wax. Oh, another one. Okay. John Carpenter's The Thing. The uh, prequel, whatever, which was actually okay. The remake to The Thomas Crown Affair, which is a lot better than the original film. Thor. 50th anniversary of To Kill a Mockingbird. Uh, uh, Tom Cruise Blu-ray Collection which comes with Top Gun, Collateral, Minority Report, The War of the Worlds, and Days of Thunder. Days of Thunder being the weakest out of them all. So we got Toy Story 1, 2, and 3. And then we have Transformers. Then Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen. And then we have Transformers Dark of the Moon. And moving down. Transporter. Transporter 2. Transporter 3. Tremors. Trick or Treat. The uh, double feature collection with Tron and Tron Legacy. Cost me a pretty penny, but well worth it. Director's Cut of Troy. True Grit, True Romance, my uh, 19th favorite film ever made, and my favorite film directed by the late Tony Scott. Yes, I have them. Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, which I think is the better out of the uh, the bunch. And then I have Twister, Underworld, and this is the unrated extended edition. Underworld Evolution, Underworld Rise of the Lycans, and Awakening. In the four disc steelbook of Disney Pixar's Up. Steelbook for Viva Vendetta. And Disney Pixar's Wally. As everybody here knows, I love that movie. Wanted, the Future Shop steelbook of Watchmen the Director's Cut. Winnie the Pooh, the remake of The Wolfman, which I actually liked. Wom the Woman in Black, also with a lenticular cover. Sorry about the glare there, guys. World Trade Center, double feature film pack of The X-Files, Fight the Future, and I Want to Believe. X-Men, X2, X-Men United, X-Men 3, The Last Stand. X-Men Origins Wolverine, and X-Men First Class, and ow, oh, thumb cramp, owie, <laughs> now we go into the movies that are their blind buys and still unwatched, 17 again, and one that uh, I saw in uh, Justin Ryan 1988's video, and I thought, well, maybe I'll like it, which is a uh, the Region 2 DVD of All the Boys Love Mandy Lane. Now I gotta get up and go behind the door. 
Okay. And then we have Body of Lies, Clive Barker, Horror Pack of Book of Blood and Midnight Mate Train, Bereavement, uh, Cabin in the Woods, also with a lenticular cover. Sorry that you guys can't see that. Come back here. <laughs> Conan the Barbarian remake. Oh god, no. This is screwing up. Ah! Give me a break, guys. Cowboys and Aliens. Daybreakers. Dinosaur. Final Destination 5. Um, the uh, Criterion Collection of Fish Tank. Gamera 3 Revenge of Iris. Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. The Grey. The Green Lantern. Steelbook of Hannah. Hatchet 2. Howling Trilogy with 3, 5, and 6. The Howling Reborn. Hugo. The Hurt Locker. The remake to I Spit on Your Grave. I Am Number 4. Inglorious Bastards. Iron Man 2. John Carter. Kick-Ass. The 2009 remake of The Last House on the Left. Legend of the Guardians. Let Me In. Machete. The Mechanic. The Muppets. The Digibook of Natural Born Killers. Near Dark. Orphan. Paul, Percy Jackson's and the Olympians' The Lightning Thief, the remake to Piranha, Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, oh, I missed one, Push, Raging Bull, Real Steel, oh man, <laughs> Rec 3 Genesis, Red, Rest Stop, Dead Ahead, Rise of the Planet of the Apes and the Last Bunch, Snow White and the Huntsman, Sorcerer's Apprentice, Splice, Sorority Row Remake, the remake to The Stepfather, The Steelbook of Sucker Punch, just drag those over there, Super 8, Three Musketeers, The Town, Breaking Dawn Part 1, the Region 2 Blu-ray of Vamp. John Carpenter's Ward, and last but not least, the Steelbook to Wrath of the Titans. Okay guys, so that's it. That's a 33 minute video. My god, it's longer than the last one. Uh, sorry about the kind of flubs there. Because trying to hold this iPhone and do that gets your arms tired. So, uh, but the next, hopefully I will do the... Uh, show off the DVD collection, and now that I have two ladders, <laughs> it will be a little bit easy. Um, okay guys, so I'm gonna go upload this, um, and yada yada yada. So I hope you guys have a good day, watch a shitload of movies, and of course, as always, rate, comment, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.